All right, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about the Anchor PowerPort Atom PD-1. Long name, but basically it's a dongle that goes into the wall, a dongle. <laughs> it's a charger port that goes into the wall um, that supports fast charging. Now, I'm gonna take it out of the box, of course. For anyone that has typically an iPhone, and you don't want the Apple charger. I know the Apple charger, I think, is either, what, 18 or 20 watts or something low like that. This guy here can actually give you 30 watts of charging, fast charging for your Apple devices. USB-C to lightning cable or USB-C to USB-C. If you're using Android, it varies. You can use it for anything. But remember, the connection, the tip is USB-C. So this normally retails, I want to say, you normally can find these, or at least the 20-watt one, at uh, T-Mobile for, like, $20. Now, I did find this at Ross for 10 bucks, which is a real steal to me. Um, if you go online, you can probably find this between 15 to 20 bucks, maybe 30 tops, but normally 15 to 20 for regular price. I got it for 10. Um, let me take it out of the case. First off, again, for anyone that hasn't experienced fast charging, because you'll be surprised how many people that work or live in the Apple ecosystem. We're not talking about hardcore people. We know the hardcores know. What I'm talking about is... Um, more so like the newbies, uh, someone that just buys an iPhone, they might have an old Apple cord or they just use a dongle they have at home. They don't know about the fast charging that Apple devices typically have. And let me put this away so I can give you a clear view of it. So again, the iPhone X, XR, X11, 12, 13, 14, 15, well, how many iPhones they make <laughs> up from the XR and up? Basically, oh, also the 8 Plus, I'm sorry. 8 Plus, the iPhone SE, let me not forget those, the new SE in 2020, um, and up. They all support fast charging, meaning 50% 50, 50 in 30 minutes. If you typically charge your iPhone normally with the 5-watt adapter it used to come with, you would probably get, I don't know, um, in 30 minutes, a 25%, 30% charge, if, if even that much, especially with usage. I'm the type of person where when I charge my phone, I'm still using my device. That's typically why I decided to go with the OnePlus brand because they're extremely fast when it comes to charging and they have their own charger. Now, I will say this will work with your OnePlus device, but it won't say warp charging. It'll say like charging rapidly or something, which is basically fast charging for another phone. But this device, if you decide, you know what? You don't want the 20 watt Apple charger that they sell at T-Mobile or different stores for 20, 30 bucks. You prefer a different brand. Anchor is probably one of the only brands that I would ever suggest that's reliable and that's affordable. They make great products, whether it's a uh, Bluetooth, they're really good. Their speakers are pretty decent. And but for me, I am more so am a headphone guy for Anchor. Also, I like their wall adapters. I have quite a few of these, actually, but the other ones are 20 watts. So, again, it's not going to be a long video. Just wanted to let you know you can buy this product right here. I'll give you the name of it again. Right here, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it on the, the uh, Anchor website. You can go to Best Buy. Different places sell this device. And it's substantially cheaper than having to go to an Apple store and pay for a 20-watt charger for probably 20 bucks. when this one retails between, again, 15 and 20 sometimes less if it's on sale. And it gives you a much faster charge than both those devices. So that's about it. Um, I do suggest this for anyone that's looking for something that's small, powerful and compact has a little bit of weight to it but that's fine it's not bad actually as a matter of fact uh if you go to your local t-mobile store i want to say t-mobile they have an anchor charger just like this except it's 20 watts and it's actually thinner than this one right here much thinner than this and smaller but for 30 watts this actually isn't bad if you just compare it in your hand this is about the size of the galaxy buds if i to take the case off Galaxy Buds. Throw this in your backpack. Uh, I don't I don't suggest keeping the wire inside of it when you do that. That's typically how you break cords or short wires. But this is actually a very, very good piece. Um, I'm going you know, to actually review some more Anchor products in the uh, future. I really do love their products, especially their headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead of doing some of these skull candies I've been doing. I, I actually prefer Anchor as a brand. Anywho, that's about it. Uh, if you see this, you see it in the store, hopefully you come across this video and you say, you know what, I do need a charger that's USB-C. I need something that's affordable. You may not want to buy the Motorola brand or the LG brand or the Samsung brand, which a lot of them overcharge for their tips, which amazes me because they're not even great brands like that anymore. 
Like LG makes great TVs. Motorola makes good mid-tier phones. Uh, Samsung makes great TVs. They make decent phones, but they're taking that Apple model where they're not putting uh, phone chargers in cases. And even if they are putting phone chargers in cases, they're giving you weaker chargers on purpose. So they can still make that money to get to sell you a 25 watt charger. Anyhow, that's the end of this video. I don't want to make it too long and I'll see you in the next one.